Okay, so for number one, we're trying to explain how a pair of parametric equations generate a curve on the xy plane. So let's just contrast it with our normal um, Cartesian equations that we're used to. So in a regular Cartesian equation, you're going to have this curve here that is some curve f of x, right? And this curve is given where any point that I take from it, you're going to have it, um, your x value is just going to be x and your y value is going to be f of x. So very clearly here you have a relationship between the input which is x and the output which is y or f of x. But now in a parametric equation it's a little bit different because we don't visualize the input on the graph. So you're going to have x and you're going to have y um, and whatever curve that is drawn here, um, maybe we have some curve that does this, this is not um, a curve where x is the input or y is the input. What happens here is that at any point that you take, say this point over here, it's not going to be x comma f of x, but instead going to be x of t comma um, y of t. And what this means here is that both x and y are, are outputs of a particular input of t, right? So the way that we could explain it is just to say, okay, uh, parametric equations generate a curve where for every input t, so for every the input t, t, the curve will have output, the output that has the point x of t comma y of t. So um, you're going to have two outputs, one in the x direction and another in the y direction. And so that's it. That's the main difference um, between the parametric curve where t is your input and you have two different outputs in your standard Cartesian curve where x is your input and y is your output.